Hi guys, so today what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna change the tie rods. So for that, same exercise that we do, is gonna be rising up to the vehicle to make sure that there's less tension on the part and so we can um, remove them easily, easier. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, once that is done, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get access in this part right here and bolt this one to give us some room. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove the tire to have a better access because what we will need to do is to remove the pin here, this pin, unscrew here, and remove the entire axle. So for that, as you can see, I actually turned the vehicle to the left in order for me to get a better access here to uh, remove this. Um, once we're gonna put it together, uh, we, we will work on some alignments once we do both of them. But for now, in order to replace them, I moved all the way on the inside, <clears throat> on driver's side, to get access and remove it. Once I actually switch it and change it, we will do the next one, the second, the one on the other side. Then we will straighten everything up and make sure that everything is correctly aligned. So this is step one. Uh, we're gonna start working on it and I will be recording the rest of the, of the process. All right, as mentioned, what we're gonna do now, we remove the, the tire. Step number one, loosen up here. Step number two, loosen up in here. So we're gonna, uh, the other way around. Now that it's loose, what we're gonna do, get here, little pin, you see there? We're gonna remove it. Once that it's done, unscrew the bolt, as I had here, have it on top and on bottom. Unscrew it and pull it up. Maybe use a mask, sometimes it's better. Or just use a lever. Maybe not big enough. And take it, that thing out. Once we take it out, unscrew it from the over there at the end, and we will replace it. Once you have it, what you want to do is try to reproduce the same length. Um, this is really important. It will help you not to struggle too much once you put it back. So for that, put the new one on top of it. Align the holes. You can use a bolt to screw and make sure that it's completely the same length. So here, there we go. Is it a little bit hard with two hands? With one hand, sorry, but um, I actually already checked. It should be the same length. So just to let you know here, put it, make sure that it's the same hole. And then slowly, there you go. Verify that it's exactly the same length on the other end. Holds the line, you're good to go. Once we put it back together, make sure the distance is right. So this bolt, put it in, tighten it up as much, re-put the pin back. Make sure this is completely tight. So this is a 22 millimeter. This is a 24 millimeter. Make sure you tighten it correctly. Should be not moving, should be the same distance. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we put the tire back together. Same thing on the other side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the tire, put it up, and now, next step, untie bolt, remove the, uh, remove, remove the pin, untie bolt, untie the two screws on the other end, and unscrew it as well. Same action we did previously, what we're gonna do now, simply align and make sure that it's the same size and then from there, we're gonna tie it and mount it back, yeah, back yeah. together. All right, now that we actually have put it together, what we're gonna do is use the center of each tire, there's a thread in each one, and measure it. Once you measure it, the front, compare it now to the same measurement from the middle of the tire, you should have a thread in the back. And it should be the same distance. If the distance is not the same, it means it's not aligned. And at that point, that's where we will work on the alignment. 
So here, for example, I have actually one inch that I need to work. Um, I need to reduce the inch on the rear in order to be aligned. Now, remember to put the vehicle down to make sure that you align the, the, the tires. We put the tires down. Now it's at 60 inch at the center of the tire since each three quarters on each front and rear, which means that I'm absolutely aligned. Now, tied everything back up and we're good. Now we change the tie rods on the front. So as you can see here, way stronger, bigger. I'm gonna compare that to the old one, which is right here. You can see here, this is how big the old one was. This is how big the new one is. So if I put it here, you can actually see it is still really, really, really thin compared to this one. So here you can see how thin the other one was. This one is reinforced, better metal, bigger. There you go. We have replaced the tie rods on the front, replaced the rear use rod on the back, so we have a vehicle that it's stronger. So just FYI, next video coming up, it's going to be comparison of the stock exhaust that it's right here, stock exhaust, and we will compare right after with the actually, let me turn the light on, with the Evolution Power Sport exhaust that should be coming in today. So we are actually gonna do that uh, comparison of both and make sure of those results are gonna be made. So for that, make sure you don't miss it. Subscribe to the v to the channel, put like on this channel. If you have any question, put a comment on the, on the comment box. Subscribe to the channel, but don't forget also as well to click on the little, little bell that will allow you to let you know when a new video comes in. So you will be able to actually see the exhaust coming in and then other surprises. I'm actually thinking of taking full stage three at least for the next couple months and then potentially a stage four or five in uh, the coming months after that stage three for sure so for that what we're going to do is we are actually going to also install the um, bow um, valve for the turbo um, uh, from avo power sports as well and then we will actually go full um, remapping reprogramming the ecu so make sure you subscribe to the channel, click on the little bell. It will actually notify you once we have those new items coming in. And once you see those new items coming in, we will install them and you won't miss those videos. Make sure you subscribe, click on the little bell and make sure you like to support the channel. See you in the next time.